Hello everybody, welcome to Shakana Toy Reviews. I'm Wilson, joined by Toast and Berg, and we are reviewing a Transformer. That it says is... three M&Ms in one? Yep. <laughs> three and M&M. M&M. <laughs> Check out. It is Transformers Legacy United Command Beast Wars Magmatron. Uh, if commander. you're trying to put that on camera, you missed it. No, I wasn't. I was okay. trying to read it. Okay. We don't care about the boxes. So as we try and do, we start in alt mode. Except when Sometimes. we can't. <laughs> so he's, I'm sure you know Mr. Berg, he is made of three separate dinosaurs. I have no clue who this is, what this is, even after my good friend Wilson and my <laughs> other good friend um, I can't remember what his channel used to be, but Josh, what's up Josh, Dave, both of you saying this is blah, 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 and you were both very excited, and I'm like, I, what? And I looked it up and I went, holy <laughs> shit, that looks amazing. Why are you buying this thing that looks nothing like it? <laughs> so, this is called a Landsaurus, mm. this is called a Seasaurus, and this is called a Skysaurus, according to the instructions. Why would it be air? That's terrible. <laughs> What is wrong with it's you? It's so bad. Lance. <laughs> it's so bad, but it's just, it's so, funny. Whatever. So it's Sky like Rain and G.I. Joe would be Air Rain? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's start with the Land Source. So this is... Um, like a T-Rex. This is Megatron, right? Megatron was a T-Rex. This is a Land Source. My mistake. He's basically only got paint down the back here. He's got some paint, other paint. Where? On his eyes? Yeah. On his teeth. And his teeth, yeah. Fingernails. Oh, yeah, and his fingernails, of course. His little fingernails, too, man. Look at yeah. That. So, he's about a Voyager size. He's a bit, this this one's the biggest of the three. Um, I don't know how it shows up on camera for everybody else, but he looks blue on camera, but he is purple in person. Yeah, he's purple, or for violet. sure. Yes. Here we have the Seasaurus. He's got a long neck. Slappy. What was the name of this one? <laughs> Paddles. Paddles. <laughs> He's got some shading. What is with here? that button? Well, <laughs> disappointment. Yeah. What button? Look on the top of him. This? That button. That's not a button. That's a the, fold. The thing that's going to move in the cartoon. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that panel's going to explode or something. <laughs> Look out, Superman. Okay. Oh, he's got a pink mouth. He does have his, yeah, he's got a pink mouth and his teeth are painted along with his eyes as well. I will well. buy you the gap fillers for his neck. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and then the Skysaurus, which is basically a pterodactyl. Oh, he's a bit of a letdown. The reds don't match in the plastics in certain areas. Uh, but what I do like is there's, on only on this wing, if you look in there, it's a, a Predacon symbol. Oh. Um... You can only see the ring light really right now, but it's in there. It's like engraved. It's really cool. The wings on the back actually are the best part. Yeah, that's nice. All these guys are fairly well articulated for what they are considering it. You know, they're supposed to combine and make one giant robot. His mouth is a little, can only open that far, unfortunately. What? Yeah, I don't know why. Hinge huh. joints are hard. Uh, but he's got his neck arm nice tight ratchets in the knees and the legs because this has to support the full oh, weight of the robot. Damage, tummy yeah nice <laughs> oh and the tail moves side to side and up and down awesome and ankle tilt of course or sea source obviously the neck has one two three ball joints and these all turn and move up and down in various ways can get that however you want it um these whoops these move up and down and they're on a ball joint there and these move side to side so that's about it for him and for the bird it's got some neck articulation beak articulation the wings are heavily articulated get a good spread and then some feet and legs so that's what you're getting. So for a sense of scale, there's Grimlock, Planet X, Grimlock, and Beast Mode. Or not Beast Modes, I'm sorry. T-Rex Mode, Dino Mode. Bad. Very bad. 
And that is a uh, life-size Lego Voltron in scale. <laughs> yeah. Here's what he looks like in Magmasaurus mode. <laughs> I refuse to transform him into this mode because it just, to me, looks ridiculous. I know there are people that are going crazy for it, and I think it's because it resembles the original toy a lot in that regards, but I just think it looks horrible. It looks like what you would imagine it would look like if you just mashed the three of these things together randomly. I want to see the picture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the picture I found online would be even better. So here we go, robot mode. We'll take a close look at some of the details that he's got going on. You can see all kinds of details here in the chest, and then this is where the head is. The head looks great. Yeah, the head, the head looks sculpt. great. So, yeah, this is real nice. He's articulated a lot more than I thought he would be, considering he's three things lumped together. Uh, there's a shot of the backpack. Jesus. So it's a little big. But he still gets all kinds of waist swivel. Sure, um, man, this is an awesome toy. I know. Be positive. I'm trying. It's got heavily art. Uh, Why? Yeah, uh, what do you call it? Ratcheted. Ratchet. Thank you. He's got heavy ratchets in his arms for some reason. Does he have a giant gun that we haven't seen yet? Not a gun. No, but he does come with a, a special like sword that's made out of like the undercarriage of the landsaurus. The undercarriage. <laughs> what we call that the taint. The taint. Yeah, you can see some taint in there. There's this part <gasps> he of uses gamma as a shield. Yeah, there's the bottom part of the sea source that can connect to his forearm. And a hole right there. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. When they make an awesome third party version of this guy, can you let me know? <laughs> okay. Because I will buy that. <laughs> I can see how this guy could be awesome. So he's got blast effects, which the only place that they show that they can go are here and this thing. Awesome. And then you like put the sword in like that. It's. I don't know, man. I that, don't get it. That can't be right. That's the only thing that's in the instructions because they they don't fit in any dinosaur's mouth. I wish like maybe the shield could have something where you could like plug these in and make it look like he's blocking shots or something like that. But yeah, that no. makes sense. But no, none of that. It's just for this, and you get all kinds of different shaped ones like that. I'm gonna point out that you're. Uh, jewel thing that you point out on the wing of the guy is on his sword as well. Yeah. You are correct. It is. Huh. Really? Right there. So, so there's not a spot for the six other blast effects? No, not really. Unless you want to make just like a large blast there. If you don't like this sword, he's got two other swords hidden up here on the pterodactyl wing. Just regular red plastic swords. So there you go. Here he is for a size next to a uh, Voyager, a Legacy Voyager. This guy's huge though. That's He's as tall as Grimlock there. That's impressive. Yay! It's a really good size for a Hasbro. Yeah. I would like to give him a four. Okay. Because I think the articulation is really there the sculpt is really there but I'm going 3.5 because he needs some paint or something to bring out those details you moving them around and the light shows off there's all the sculpting bits mm -hmm. there's like dinosaur skin all over the place that you, is just lost and looks flat and there's all these awesome details in his arms and everything I'm going 3.5, way higher than I thought uh, I would be, especially after the awful pictures of the toy that I, did, again, just saw. And I'm like, these are your promo posts? You yeah. guys need to hire the McFarlane guys to at least make it look crappy or something. <laughs> Dramatic lighting. Here is a static pose in front of White. I agree with a lot of that. So I also saw the promotional pictures for this guy months ago, and I'm like, that thing looks ridiculous. Who's going to buy that? Of course. 
Well, so. <laughs> um, but he is impressive. I do like a good T Rex shoulder. Uh, the head looks great, and he is well articulated. I too would like some paint because the sea source, especially, was well painted on the back, mm -hmm. uh, except for that rectangle. And uh, there's color break up here, but it's all plastic, it's not paint, except for the white on the shoulder. 3.5. Good night. I, I'm giving him a 4 out of 5. He looks like the character enough for me. He mainly is getting slashed because of that horrible, horrible combined mode of all the dinosaurs. I agree with some of the paint, qual not quality. Uh, lack of. Lack of paint that you guys brought up. Um, but I'm having fun with them. And he's highly articulated, and he's, he's huge. So I, I feel like I got my money's worth. It's good. So the blast effects work. <clears throat> now, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment it's below. Magnetic. It's, it's magnetic. magnetic. <laughs>